Okay. All right, while we're down here, yeah, I, I'm gonna need you guys to just move over a little bit because, well, I don't want to get grease on my tripod. Well, hello there. How are you guys doing today? Well, we're home. Yes, that means we are home. Woke up this morning and uh, it's cold. Not too cold. It's probably 40 degrees, but that's, that's warm enough to uh, go wash the flatbed. It's looking pretty rough. Just like that on the road, you practice your safety. Well, we got the pickup cleaned up. Now I say, uh, right, Mom? What? Now I think I should probably work in the house a little bit because it's really cold out. Yeah, whatever. I got a yeah, whatever. I offered to help her clean the house. and. I'm willing. I got my Facebook Live here. What? Oh, 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 come back here, little lady. What? What, what are you going to do? A Facebook Live. What's Facebook Live? I'm going to go on Facebook and share the good news that this is Holy Week and Jesus died on the cross to save all of our sins. So I'm going to do that for our church. I'm going to meet with my Sunday school kids, even though I'm not teaching the Sunday school this year, and encourage them to all get on Facebook and come hear about Holy Week. Well, there you go. That sounds like she's got a good plan. <laughs> Oh, hey guys. Well, we got some of the stuff done. We got the truck cleaned up, pickup cleaned up, worked on the inside a little bit. As you can see, judging behind me, I had a pile of dirt delivered, and we have some low spots in the front yard that they, 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 they need attended to before somebody breaks an ankle. So you got to love small towns because I just talked to the city a little bit. They brought me a load of dirt. <sighs> and now I got to put it in holes, level it out, make the yard kind of look nice. Because like I said, this year is going to be the year that I have a nice yard.
hoping you guys know CPR I'm a truck driver I'm not supposed to be doing this much I mean, eh, no truck driver uh -uh. Okay guys, here, I found in this, here, you guys can't see it that well, but, here, hold on, let me see. I found a little centipede in the dirt. These things, when they get big, they are scary. about it a tornado hit our town and we have these um sometimes you might see these if we're walking around in our yard from our old house we stayed on the same property we just built the uh construction people just built a new house so we have these what are they called so we have parts of bricks so, while I was digging, I found some of them. So if you didn't know, now you know. That's a fact. Another fun fact, my dad has gone through how many semis? semis? Um, five. Five semis. He used to haul day cab. He used to run day cab, right? Yeah.
well aware there's going to be a few of you farmers out there saying, holy crap, look at all that seed he's wasting. Spreading it by hand. You don't need that much grass seed in there. Remember, heavy panting, manual labor, truck driver. CPR needed soon. I'll be back with you. Let's go see how little Bud's doing it washing off the sidewalk. He has started washing my truck. I don't know why. for a little bud he's gonna bring his quad around front and I'm gonna have him drive up and down on all this new grass seed I just put down just to pack it down a little better we are I don't know we're sometime in April and it's supposed to snow again we're supposed to get three to four inches of snow I think on Easter day so I want to get the grass seed in get the sidewalks all washed off everything put away probably gonna put some weed and feed on the ground too just to try getting some grass to grow I was looking for a little tiller. I couldn't find a little tiller. Even went down, put my gloves on, my mask on, went down to Baumgars, couldn't find a little tiller. What do I need that little tiller for? Maybe it's a hint to my new hobby I want to start. things are going good today the weather's holding out for us I don't know how much longer the cold front definitely has started to move in it is a little chilly out tomorrow they're talking rain all day Sunday they're talking basically snow all day up to four inch four to five inches of snow this time of year it's gonna melt off pretty quick but it's gonna make it to where I'm stuck inside the house so I'm trying to get done as much as I can today here outside as you can see, we got the grass leveled out. Yeah, let's see what else we got done there. Got that leveled out, it was pretty deep. Holes, you know, I was gonna break an ankle. All right, we got all that done. Before that sun goes down, we still have more to do. That involves first class. If you're wondering about the brake, I did put the brake back together. I will have a brake. Let's just put it that way. I'm not going out on the road next week without a brake, and it's gonna work. But when I get home from next week, I'm going to either, if it's warm enough, I'm going to do it myself. But I don't have a garage, don't have a shop, and I'm going to put two new S cams in it, uh, two new slack adjusters on that axle back there. But if it's still cold, then I'm probably going to end up paying someone else to do it, which isn't the end of the world. It, you pay people to do stuff all the time. It's just something that's easy enough that I could do, but I don't have the shop to do it. So, I don't like the cold. 
I'm a baby, guys. I'm a 300-pound baby. This basically happens every time. Right when I get it started, but the good part is I'm not underneath the truck when I run out of grease. Let's get the trees changed and we'll be good to go. She's dry. I should be ashamed of myself. This truck is extremely in need of grease. Every two weeks, no matter what, if it's cold, either pay to do it or do it, you know. It's almost embarrassing. I almost don't want to show you guys how much grease this thing needed. Big disadvantage to being a rather large fella. I'm not fat. I'm just fluffy. Right? That's fluffy. Here I go. Bye. Just me again. Right, we're down here. Yeah. Hey. I'm gonna need you guys to just move over a little bit because. Well, I don't want to get grease on my tripod. Okay. All right, we can do this very, oh, geez, sorry guys, I bumped you. Okay. Alrighty, that one's greased. Now we gotta move on. We just got probably about six more to go. We're almost done. So tomorrow night we will have that. Well, tomorrow night I'll be in the house all day, so I'll be ready to cook tomorrow night. I want this tube to be empty if I can put a new one in it that way when I grab it first thing in two weeks it's ready so we're gonna do some fifth wheel art well what we have here is that fireball in the sky is still up. And like I said, I'm going to be trapped in the house the next two days, so this will check our tires too. I figured they're going to be good. Because I just checked them not too long ago. But we're going to check them again. That is literally one of the cheapest things you can do to your truck to improve fuel economy, tire wear, about everything. It's free. Just keeping the tires aired up. Not hard to do either. There. All 10 tires checked. Took us less than... Two minutes, two seconds. Well, since first class is technically done for me working on it right now, there's no reason for it to sit out here on the street and get in the way of everything. So we're going to pull it around back. Get her tucked in beside the old freight liner. So I haven't showed you guys that old freight liner yet, have I? You're going to love that truck. But I'm not going to show you it until I'm digging it out. 
Greased up, tires are good, brakes fixed for right now. Let's get it pulled around back, get the deck cleared off. Then we can go inside and watch a movie. I've never heard of this movie I'm gonna watch. Something about... You know, I can't even remember the name of it. Something about a dead puppy, then he goes around and kills a bunch of people with guns. It's a guy's name. It's got Neil from Matrix on it. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventures guy. I'm just going to give you a little taste of this beauty. That's a 1986 Freightliner FLC with a setback at front axle. I don't really want to dig it out yet. That is one of the cheapest trucks I've ever owned. Sorta. We put a lot of new parts into that. And don't get me wrong, I love first class. She needs some work though too, just like anything. I've only had her for, I've had first class for about two years. And every one of my trucks I give a name. This right here is first class. I haven't stickered her yet, but I called my Freightliner someday. I'll explain that more when we dig it out. Go inside, eat some supper, and Mama! hold on a second. Hey, what's the name of that movie we were watching last night? John Wick. John Wick. There you go. John Wick. We started watching them yesterday, last night. It's amazing. Tater says it's amazing. I hope you guys are staying healthy. It's a crazy world right now. It really is. Just remember, you know, be kind to each other. Don't start freaking out, doing stuff you don't want to do. Be happy, healthy, and guys, be safe. I'll see you on the next video.